there. There's a couple of cute little stories in the uh, news, too. They, uh, they're helping out the mermaid baby. Have you seen that story? No, oh, that's so cute. Isn't that an endearing little thing for a child? The mermaid baby. Aww. Dude, have you seen this? I love when they give these cute little names to freaks of nature that should just be shot in the head and buried out back. I buried the little feller. Poor little mermaid. Poor little. <laughs> little sh- what kind of box mm-hmm. do you put her in? Hey, are we getting the stripper I put supply her in story? The shoe box. <laughs> no, I mean, we're getting the audio because they got the interview. Oh, cool. We'll do that too. Poor little feller. Poor little feller. <laughs> Oh, you haven't seen the mermaid baby? Uh, no, I guess we're not breaking because I, I, I it's have to, the baby. I have to find out now that 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 uh, the legs are connected from I guess the snatch all the way down to the ankles. You got two leg bones, but everything else is fused together. Was this in a real paper? I swear to you. Yeah, he's right. Did, did it say AP? No, it's right there on look. Uh-oh. On 1010 winscom oh, so you know it's true. It has it's, to be real. It's local. funny you said all the way from her snatch. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's how I have to describe it. But it's like, you know, it, it, they give these cute little names. Mermaid Baby. Then you Oh, my God! Little Ariel. <laughs> Holy crap! That can't be real. Kid with water on the brain. Oh, look, it's little Pez Dispenser Kid, we call him. <laughs> You know, you got to give cute names to them. All right. Uh, so-called mermaid baby undergoes operation. Peruvian Peruvian surgeons. We're going to cure the little kid with elephantitis of the ball sack. But we call them hippity hop balls. <laughs> no, we're going to give him glasses and make him a producer. <laughs> <laughs> Muss his hair up a bit. Give him 20,000 cups of coffee. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so they have to, like, slit her legs up. That was the operation they did? And, uh, yeah, they say that she's, uh, she's got 15 years of surgery to go. What? They have to, yeah, they, because uh, the bones get fused and everything gets, like, fused together. So they, they got to slit her. And then as she grows, I guess they got to do all things right, to her leg bones. That's all cute, but, uh, let's get, uh, really into this. Are yeah. they going to make her, uh, a, a badge? Are they going to slit her a slit? How about an answer <laughs> to some of the questions that we don't know about that they never give? Right. Is, is it fused all the way up to her snatch? It has to be, or she would be bloated by now. And now, <laughs> and now what do you do? Do you build her a new one? Is, is that, like, inside her thighs right now? And, and who, you got to cut it and then build one? And who decides how tight it's going to be? The dock. How big the lips are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesus, Jimmy. <laughs> but so they you had... can't put these on. They'll see them through panties. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to model them after these bratwurst. <laughs> to slap these together and take a look. That's what we need. Two bratwurst with a grape on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want you to use Abner Lewima's lips. Just slap them in there. <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah, they had a girl on one of the talk shows yesterday uh, who had had the surgery done years ago. And she's, uh, you know, her legs look really weird. Like her thighs were really skinny, but her calves were really fat. <laughs> so she had like the Popeye thing going on. But I guess, you know, it's better than uh, having to go through life as the mermaid person. The, much of a mermaid you know, the, look to it, though. The mermaids are hot. The yeah. best freak baby ever, though. We did like three hours on it. Baby without a face? No. Baby without a face? No. no. Jimmy, one? anyone else want to guess? Faceless baby was the worst thing to look at. That thing was popular a few months back, and everyone was emailing it around, and you click on the picture, and just, it's baby without a face, and the father is holding it up, like, nuzzling yeah. this just chopped meat, <laughs> pile of chopped meat I in the front. That. Oh, God, that was awful. There it is, Opie. Look. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, it's attached. I don't see any ass. I don't see no ass. I Where does it crap? Wow, that has got... Wow. Does it crap out of a little hole like a fish no, where that brown string just comes out? I think it's all collecting in the little baby's thighs. Look at that. <laughs> that's all, That's all like... Do you see ass? No, no ass. There's no ass crack or nothing. No. It's fused all the way from the hips down. Oh, wait, no, no. That's just an Asian baby. Go to the next one. 
<laughs> oh, it's sideways. I didn't look. Uh, well, let's go to Tony the Trucker. Tony, what's up? Hey, guys. How's it going this morning? Well, we're having a good time. Hey, uh, yeah, y'all just touched on that. I was just going to uh, mention that uh, that show that was on TV about the about that mermaid baby. They had that uh, that older girl, I guess, that had gone through the operation. But yeah, that was that was pretty that's pretty messed up, man. That's, that's some fucked up looking legs. But uh, y'all already touched on it, so I'll just uh, punch out and listen. All right, thanks, Tony. Let's Bye, get a free rider. Free rider, what's up? Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, the, the urinary tract and uh, the genitalia and all that stuff is fused together as well, so they have to construct their own uh, their own genitalia. So I how how does the baby get rid of any waste? I, I don't know. It, it, the reason she's been waiting so long is she's had so many urinary tract infections uh, that they've had to wait to kind of fix to make sure all the infections go down first. Well, how's this stuff getting out of her? Yeah, they I, gotta... I, have no, I have no idea. Maybe they no idea. put a bag on her or something. And I'm going three days without uh, <laughs> any movements, and, and I look like a bloated Ethiopian kid. Oh. Well, and uh, well, I can't imagine that you. she's going a lot longer than me. They squeeze her like toothpaste, and it comes out this little slit in her ankles. <laughs> All right, punch me out. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> She blasts one you hear it down by her feet. Because <laughs> her feet aren't fused together. So there's like, it looked to be some type of opening by her ankles. No, nah, that can't be. Take a look at the picture again. No, I, I bet know. there's a little hole what in the back that just trickles out of. You think? There's got to be some oh. little clumsy, messy back Where do you legs? get pampers with just one hole for the leg? <laughs> Why can't <laughs> one they big hole? pamper? A pamper. <laughs> Why can't they uh, address that? Oh, You know what I mean? We yeah. want to know what's going we on there. Know. Anytime there's some kind of medical malfunction like this, they never answer <laughs> the things you really want answered. You see Siamese twins that are connected from the hip up, where they share everything from the hips down. I want to know how they deal with uh, having sex and stuff. They have two different brains. All right, there you go. You finally figured out the, the craziest freakish baby ever. Yeah. The two-headed... Uh Twins, or I don't even know what I don't know if they're officially twins. With the crab, they look like a crab. No, when they no, ran. no, no. Oh, those were the uh, brothers in Chicago. The brothers were connected at the hip, uh, and and their torso, but they had four legs, right, and four arms, right. So there are two different people up top. They fuse into one person, and then right at the hips, they come back into two people. Right. So they had four legs, and they showed them playing baseball. Right. And they were running, and it looked like some freakish crab well, running. <laughs> The best the, part, the baseline, frightening. The best part was the one brother would hit and the other brother would catch. Yeah, he was the catcher for the team, uh, but while the other brother hit, and the guy was out every time. Oh, you silly goose! You're out again. You just have to <laughs> throw it to the brother. He's right there to make the tag. Right. The bro- <laughs> throw it to me. I'm on him. And, of course, the dumb announcers have to say stuff like, you could be whatever you want. You could play ball. My dream is to play for the Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Really? Sure it is. (laughs) Jesus. They're going to put some freakish crab man, two-headed crab man on the team. You know what, though? Sell tickets. I was going to say, attendance would go way up. Mm -hmm. Mr., uh, what was his name there, Vec? Yeah. He knew. He knew. (laughs) That guy knew. Freakish. What is that you're you're showing me, uh, Eric? That's another picture of the baby. The baby's cute, though. Cute little baby. Anthony, anyway. Whoa. What? Uh, little Melegros. Let's see. Weighs uh, 14 pounds. Measures 25 inches long. About the size and weight of a normal six-month-old baby. Um, but uh, Melegros has suffered frequent urinary infections because... <clears throat> hold on, kids. Her uh, urinary tract... Anus and genitals end in the same opening, almost like a sewer. It says it right here, <laughs> almost like a sewer. So is it like a bird? Like birds have like one thing just come out of liquid and solid. Yeah, when it hits your car, it's just shit and piss, and right. it's all over your windshield. Sperm. Yeah, it's probably the same thing. This whole yuck just comes out. In the last three months, doctors inserted a silicone bag filled with saline to stretch the skin so it would be able to cover her legs once they're cut apart. She also has a deformed left kidney, very small right one, located very low in her body. What happened here? I don't know. If this mother didn't deserve a push down the old staircase, (laughs) the old hacienda. (laughs) 
Wow. Let's go to Ken in Jacksonville. Ken, what's up? Just bouncing off hey, the terracotta I... tile floor. <laughs> they figured out since the baby can't shit, they nicknamed it Old Gravy Baby. <laughs> Jesus. Punch it out, boys. That's almost really funny. Old Gravy Back. <laughs> old Gravy Back. Old Gravy Leg. <laughs> wow. All right. So it's called Mermaid Syndrome, huh? Yeah, they have to give it cute names like that. Mm. You know. Condition occurs in one out of every 70,000 births. One in 70,000? And That are, sounds kind of common. And there are only three known cases of children with the affliction alive in the world today. Yeah, they probably die right away. Something tells me that isn't the only affliction. Well, Anthony, yes, the deformity is almost always fatal within days of delivery due to serious defects to vital organs. Yeah. Uh, but Milagros, whose uh, name means miracles in Spanish, well, has survived. Of course it does. Yeah, that's a real miracle. Thank you, Lord. Deliver that mess. I saw a lady in the comedy cellar probably about a month ago, upstairs in the restaurant. <clears throat> she was the, the most awful looking person I've ever seen. Really? She had, it looked like, her. she looked like a scream mask. Her <laughs> mouth Holy Jesus. looked like it was three or four inches, maybe two inches wide with buck teeth. And it looked like someone had taken her face and stretched it like taffy and then caved it in. It was like it was like a half a parenthesis almost. It was the wow. her chin might have been an inch wide. I'm really? like this. How did she make it to adulthood? And who who's her friend out with her pretending that yeah it's nice to just have coffee with you and look at that awful face. <laughs> Holy Jesus! I couldn't even laugh at her at the comedy club. Dude, I could. It was upstairs at the restaurant. I couldn't even elbow a comic yeah. and go look at that. It there is something awful. so heinous out there that you can't yeah you can't laugh. I can't even look sometimes. No. It's really horrible when you, you... And they sometimes get you by surprise. You're just wheeling your shopping cart at the supermarket, and you turn down an aisle, and you're staring horror right in the face. <laughs> like, oh, my God, what happened? Teeth that are sticking straight out at you. What? What happened? I really want to take this one home and bang her. <laughs> just out of mercy. Put it in that awful mouth. <laughs> yeah, just, well, just caress that bent face and little tiny chin. Caress old tiny chin. <laughs> and when she gets you a little tear in her eye because somebody is finally holding her the way she wants to be oh, held, no. you drill your fist in her face and go, now get out, ugly. <laughs> you, you just. Oh, you're horrible. You, you're just not oh, nice. Oh, God. Uh, let's go to Dave in Detroit. Dave, what's up? Hey, how you doing today, guys? We're having a lot um, of fun to, today. Hey, no doubt. I used to be a rehabilitation count how people get jobs, so you need to get all the specs on these people, what their problems was. So I had this report coming on this guy that he um, had to be had a job where he had to be right next to a toilet all the time. So when he came to my office, I asked him why, and he said, well, I was born without an asshole. And essentially, um, instead of having a colostomy, his dad had a doctor's drill in there. So he had no way of controlling his shit. It just would go whenever because he had no muscles there. Oh, he had no, like, sphincter? Or exactly. anything that, you know, keeps you from just crapping when you have crap there. You it would just dead. fall out. So, so what, Stop he would it. go to the bathroom and when he would just felt like it was coming on? Whenever he he couldn't uh -huh. control it. So he basically had to be able to work. He could run right to the toilet at that point. The guy also refused to wear any type of diaper as well. It's pretty bad. Are we ready to call shenanigans on this guy? Mm, that sounds a little odd. I would uh -huh. think there would be a colostomy bag on that guy. And he hung up. And he hung up, yeah. All right, what is Parasite Head all about? Parasite Head? AJ in Delaware. That doesn't sound like an endearing, fun little hey, name for a child. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, the other day on, I think it was on Oprah or some nonsense, they had a baby with a parasitic head. It had an additional head, but no body attached to it. Oh, so it I like, saw that. It was yeah. like half a Siamese twin. Freakish. It was, yeah, they, it was like managed, almost half a that, head growing out of the other head. Like that character in South Park? Yeah, yeah. Where it had, like, conjoined twin head. And the eyes kind of try to open every once Dude, in a while? Dude, the eyes, yeah, the eyes yeah. would open. And, and, and the mouth and nose would twitch, and it would move. But it oh. couldn't talk or anything? No. I wonder if there was a brain in there going, ah, oh, this blows. It was just retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Big retard head. Ugh. <sighs> All right. No, it didn't so that was like on Rosie Oprah? The, the head was just sticking out? I don't know slightly. if it was on Oprah. I, I saw it on online. Anyway, I... The the freakish, uh, the best one ever was the, the two little girls, two mm -hmm. heads on one body. 
Oh, yeah. One complete body. I think mm-hmm. uh, 2020 or 60 Minutes, one of them did a whole piece on them. We talked about them for hours. Had wider shoulders than normal person. Right. Uh, and had two heads two, on one body. Yeah. The, everything. Besides the, the two heads, yeah. Are they both thinking separate, like, heads? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they, they were different. totally there. Had, uh, yeah, uh, complete brain function and, and did what normal girls do. Oof. And uh, the only difference besides the two heads, like Ann said, they had broader shoulders. But everything else went down to a V, and they had two legs, two arms, and they swam. And and, and, and now, they, you know. The creepiest scene ever, they showed him on a bike, just riding a bike yeah, with two heads, really like, weird. woo, that having fun. That was really weird. What do you do with and the And Ann and I, yeah, that's what we were saying. It's like, can you imagine one girl is like, you know, like wants to save herself for marriage, and the other girl's a slut? Or how about they both fall in love with two different people and get married, and what do you do? How do the guys handle it? Right, you're sharing a snatch. You're sharing the snatch. You're kissing one of the heads. You're playing with one tit. And, and, and then what, the other guy is sleeping right next to you because he's married to her. And then you climb aboard, do your stuff. What, do they flip a coin? <laughs> you and... You and Voss, and and then when the, when the when the one you're banging dozes off, do you go to the other one? Psst. <laughs> Just suck it. <laughs> yeah, you could. You, you're like, as you're as you're banging, do you turn to the other head and go, "I'm fucking you now." Yeah. <laughs> you just let her know, like, "Hey, hey, no, you're not." Yeah, I'm fucking you now. <laughs> it doesn't well, make any sense. Get Those hearts. are the questions. You one on your to. balls, one on the helmet. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. I'd date that creature in a second. Uh, two mouths, no way to creature. <laughs> date that creature. How come I always have to eat the ass first? Hush, hush now. Oh. <laughs> Flip her over, stare in the back of two heads in the pillow. <laughs> oh, One's going, ooh, and one's going, ouch, Ow. ouch, I don't like this. <laughs> Take it all.